In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Corfu. At number one, we have Corfu Old Town. This city, nestled between two fortresses, is a maze of walkable streets flanked by Venetian and neoclassical houses. The Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and as you wander, you'll discover the archaeological museum and the quirky Casa Parlante. The Old Fortress, dating back to the 6th century, offers breathtaking views of the coastline and mainland Greece. At number two, we have the Esplanade and Liston. This green square, situated between the Old Town and the Old Fortress, is a remnant of Venetian fortifications. The Liston, an elegant arcade reminiscent of Paris's Rue de Rivoli, borders the Esplanade and offers a delightful spot for relaxation. At number three, we have St. Spiridon Church. This iconic church, with its Renaissance bell tower, houses the relics of St. Spiridon. The church's marble iconostasis and gilded ceiling are truly a sight to behold, reflecting the rich history and artistry of Corfu. At number four, we have Ecaleon, commissioned by Empress Elizabeth of Austria. This neoclassical palace is adorned with statues inspired by Greek mythology. The gardens are a serene blend of architecture and nature, offering visitors a glimpse into the lives of European royalty. At number five, we have Mount Pantocrator. As Corfu's highest peak, it offers panoramic views of the Ionian Islands, the Greek mainland, Albania, and even Italy. The mountaintop monastery and cafe are worth the adventurous drive up. At number six, we have Paleo Castrizza Monastery. Perched on a rugged headland, this 13th century monastery is surrounded by vibrant bougainvillea and geraniums. The monks here offer tours and even produce their own olive oil. At number seven, we have Paleo Castrizza Beach. Just east of the monastery, this beach is a haven for snorkelers and families alike. The clear waters and golden sands are framed by towering rock formations. At number eight, we have Angelo Castro. This castle, perched over 300 meters above the sea, offers dramatic views of the coastline. Its history as Corfu's official capital under the Venetians is evident in its robust fortifications. At number nine, we have Vlacerna Monastery. This picturesque monastery, located on an islet, is one of Corfu's most iconic landmarks. The chapel, dating back to 1685, is a serene spot to reflect. At number 10, we have Ponticonisi, Mouse Island. Legend has it that this island was Ulysses' ship, turned to stone by Poseidon. The 12th century Byzantine monastery here is a peaceful retreat. At number 11, we have Cassiopeia. This traditional fishing village turned resort offers stunning views across the Straits of Corfu to Albania, the Cassiope Castle, possibly dating back to the 6th century, stands as a testament to the village's rich history. At number 12, we have Canal de More Beach. Located near Sidari, this beach is known for its unique rock formations. The local legend says couples who swim through the nearby tunnel will soon marry. At number 13, we have Old Perithia. This mostly abandoned village offers a glimpse into Corfu's past. The stone paths and ancient churches here tell tales of bygone eras. At number 14, we have Miriotisa Beach. Nestled beneath cliffs, this secluded beach is a favorite among naturists and those seeking tranquility. At number 15, we have Isos Beach. This expansive sandy beach bordered by dunes is a haven for windsurfers and kite surfers. Its pristine beauty makes it a must visit. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Corfu. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.